guys, welcome to Inside the NFL Today. My name is Damon, and today we're going back to uh, the first day of the combine, and we're going to review the quarterbacks. I kind of saved this video because I wasn't all too impressed with quarterbacks, and I wasn't going to make a big video about it because the quarterback class is extremely thin this year, and I don't have much to say about them because my opinion about them did not change much at the combine. So um, from day one at the combine, I watched, I rewatched a little bit of tape. Um, one thing I want you guys to get is the combine is not really a good place to judge quarterbacks, other than their speed. I don't get a lot of information from that. Their speed is the only thing I really like to watch from that because the drills uh, generally favor the quarterbacks and make them look better than they are, or make them look worse than they are. It's kind of just not really good for the drills. Um, but anyway, the quarterbacks. So Geno Smith who's the number one quarterback overall in the draft. Um, I think he actually solidified, in my opinion at least, he is the number one quarterback. He is the only quarterback that I think is worth a first um, round pick, and I think he's the only quarterback that should be drafted in the first round. There's a high chance other quarterbacks may be drafted in the first round, but as far as quarterbacks go, I think Geno Smith is the only guy with the talent level to go in the first round. That being said, I don't think he has uh, top five talent. No offense to Geno Smith or anything, but he is not an Andrew Luck. He's not an RG3. And in my opinion, he doesn't have the talent. He doesn't have the capabilities right now, at least, to be a top ten pick. But he's probably going to be drafted there. There are a lot of teams in the top ten who are need at needed a quarterback. And as the Kansas City Chiefs look more and more like they're going to be trading for Alex Smith and drafting Luke Jokel with the number one overall pick, uh, Geno Smith will probably drop. This creates an interesting situation with the other teams as he drops to Jacksonville, who probably will not draft him. And then uh, the Oakland Raiders, who may or may not draft him, I don't think they will. I don't think they're going to go that option. I don't think they're going to build their defense, but... Uh, um, this isn't about those teams. I think he's going to drop. I think Geno Smith solidified us um, as the top quarterback in the draft this weekend. And I think he did a very good job at the combine, even though it's not a true measure of the quarterback. Now, that being said, like I said at the beginning of the video, in my opinion, this quarterback uh, class is extremely, extremely, extremely thin at top-level talent. In my opinion, there is no guy who I think is going to be a extreme success story story at the NFL level and if there is anybody in this class who's going to be successful it's either it's probably going to be Geno Smith um and then the off chance one of the other guys who just happens to fly under the radar with everybody but as far as right now Geno Smith is the only guy I really see with the talent capability and the speed and he has a lot of um he has a lot of all around talent like he's not really great at any particular thing He's, he's got really good all around this. He's got a good speed, but he's not a scrambler, which means he's going to stay in the pocket most of the time. Uh, we'll probably see his playing a little bit like Andrew Luck. Now to the other quarterbacks, uh, Mike Glennon, uh, Ryan Nassib, that, Zach Dizer, uh, Tyler Wilson. All those guys are predicted to go around somewhere in the second round. Uh, some of them, maybe even Matt Barkley in the first round. Um, the only guy I really see there that I like um, a whole lot is Tyler Wilson. He's got a lot of arm strength. He's got above average arm strength. And I think he makes pretty good decisions. He's, um, he's accuracy is spotty at times, but I like his accuracy in the short and medium range. It gets a little spotty at the deep. Uh, accuracy is a little spotty. But I think this can be correct at the NFL level. So... Um, other than that, those are the two only real quarterbacks that I'd really like to cover. Uh, like I said, as far as this quarterback class goes, nobody really impressed me too much at the Combine, but the Combine isn't a real place for you to really judge quarterbacks. So I talked about Geno Smith a lot, but that's because he's the only guy I really think deserves to go in the first round. Um, other than that, quarterback class is thin. I thought it was thin. The Combine can't really change my opinion on that. We'll have to wait till pro days. So for the quarterback class, just wanted to make this video addressing them addressing how they really haven't changed that much in my mind, and we're going to have to see it from their pro days. Um, some of them have a chance to change my opinion on them in their pro days, but other than that, that's it. I think this quarterback class is extremely thin, especially like compared to last year. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you liked the video. Um, I'll be coming out with some more videos. If it's not out already, I'll have come out with the defensive backs videos. I'm going to put them all into one group, and I'll probably come out with a combined video of the tight ends and running backs because... Um, they're not really big positions at, in the common era draft, and 
um, I can sort them into one video. So thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you liked it, please rate, comment, and subscribe on my young channel. Um, I, I'm getting on my feet, and I hope I can really help you guys get quality NFL um, commentary every time I film. So thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe if you liked it, and I'll see you guys next time.